Hello team and welcome to today's video in Excel where we're going to be taking a look at some tips for sorting your dates in your Excel spreadsheets. Let's jump in. To begin, you want to ensure that your information in your date column is formatted as date on the home tab. And we're going to be spending most of our time today on the data tab in the Excel ribbon. With a cell selected within your date column, you can go to the sort options located here and select A to Z to sort by oldest date to newest date. And you'll notice that utilizing this method, the names are sorted to match their original dates as well. We can sort the opposite way from newest date to oldest by selecting the Z to A button instead. And you'll see again, the names are adjusted. Now conversely, if we select the entire date column and again select the A to Z option to sort from oldest to newest, Excel will ask if I want to expand the selection or continue with the current selection. Expanding the selection will mean all adjacent columns are sorted to match their original date as well. However, if I select continue with the current selection and click sort, you'll notice that only the dates have been adjusted, but the names no longer match with their original date. If you format your data as a table, we can do so by selecting Control T on the keyboard and then clicking OK with our data set selected. You'll then notice that if I select the drop down at the top of the date hired column, Excel gives me updated options for sorting from oldest to newest or newest to oldest. And when I select either of these options, you'll see both the date and names match and have been sorted. Finally, if you want to set up a formal sorting rule for your Excel data, on the data tab you can go to the sort button. Here you can select the data you want to sort by, in this case it would be date hired, we'll sort based on cell values, although you'll notice there's other options here, and then you can choose the order in which to sort this data, or create a custom sort. This dialog box is also beneficial because if you have multiple columns, you can select add level located here, and then select the next column you'd like to sort by. In this case, the only other column is the name column, so I could select that here. And if I were to click OK, Excel would prioritize sorting the date hired column and then sort by the name column. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.